It's happening, everybody. Oh, man. Welcome to the vlog. Here we are. Another day in Denver, Colorado. Oh, man. What? Uh, yesterday was tiring. Like, biking around in my boot, filming the boulder boulder. And if you haven't seen the highlight video and you need a little extra motivation for your run today, you got to go watch it. Upper right-hand corner. It's a good one. Six minutes of just pure beauty and grit from all the runners so it's amazing and yes stickers are starting to arrive at people's doors i'm gonna talk all about merch very soon stay tuned for that later this week and thank you for your patience if you've been yearning for a t-shirt or a hoodie it's finally starting to happen i couldn't be more excited oh my goodness okay let's dive into today's topic january 17th 2019 I said this. You know the story, you know the drill. 2018 was marked by pretty serious PF, plantar fasciitis. The goal, the number one goal for 2019 is to completely avoid injuries as a whole, but especially plantar fasciitis. The goal, oh, the goal was to stay healthy. Didn't happen. It just didn't happen. There's no other way to say it, uh, but I tried. Remember, I did all of these foot exercises in an attempt to rebuild my my entire body from the ground up. So I'm not giving up on these foot exercises, but what you're watching on your screen right now, I was doing on January 17th, 2019. And I'm not gonna mull over the injury anymore. If you wanna hear all my thoughts about it, you can go watch it upper right hand corner. But in that same vlog, yes, I talked about training blocks, uh, peak races, and that is where we lead into today's topic about reset. Oh, I'm hitting the reset button, keyword reset, because I gotta figure out, because of this inj injury, what does the rest of 2019 look like for racing? And there's a lot I want to accomplish. There's no other way to say it. Uh, I have a lot of big goals, and uh, but again, gotta just reevaluate where I'm going to be once I'm out of the boot and how long it will take me to get ready for the next peak race and what races I want to sprinkle into the training over the next two months, three months. And if you're a newer subscriber, you may think that I am more of a, of a marathon racer, a road racer, but actually my strengths lie more in big mountain running, specifically uphill running. I'm, I'm a strong climber. And uh, so my next peak race is going to be August 24th. Uh, that, that race has not changed. It's the Pike Peak Ascent, a very prestigious, uh, it's, an, it's an old race now. I don't know how many years, at least I would say 35, maybe 40. I actually don't know, uh, but a very well-known race. And it, it goes, it's a 13 mile race, straight up a mountain. Uh, you, you top off at 14,000 feet above sea level. I was able, able to snag third place uh, two years ago. And guess what? I started training for that race seven weeks before race day and I was able to snag third. So that just kind of tells me with this boot and this injury, I'm in no rush. I have at least, what do I have? I think I have 12 weeks from last weekend. So basically, basically three months to go until the Pikes Peak Ascent, which is great. It's amazing and it's plenty of time. And you remember what my lesson learned from the Cleveland Marathon buildup, that, that, that training block ended up being a little too long. Uh, just too, it was too long, it's too long. So I'm really excited about a 10 week, 11 week, whatever ends up being, whenever I can start to jog again, uh, build up for the Pikes Peak. It might even be eight or nine, I just don't know. And I'm not, I'm not worried about it at all. But it also means I'm probably not gonna race in June, but here are my races for July and August. And who knows, if you're a local in any of these locations, let me know, send me an email, who knows, maybe we can meet up after the race. I never really like to meet up before races because I just like to rest, save my energy, focus on the task at hand. All right, and here's what we are looking at in the month of July. The Kendall Mountain 12 mile race in Silver Silverton, Colorado on July 13th, a six mile up, six mile down race. Oh, just nice and steep, just the way I like it. But on the same day in Aspen, Colorado, is the Audi Power of 425K in Aspen. I already said that on July 13th. Uh, so I'll have to make a decision there. I might see what my brother ends up doing because he, he's interested in both of those races as well. And then on July 28th, the Bar Trail Race in Manitou Springs, Colorado, which is on the same 
course as the Pikes Peak Ascent, but instead of going all the way to the top, you turn around halfway. So it's six miles up, six and a half miles up, basically. No, it's six miles up, six miles down. Uh, so uh, again, a 12 mile race. And moving on to August, looking at the Rendezvous Mountain Hill Climb in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. So if you live in Wyoming or anywhere near Jackson Hole, that'd be amazing to meet some locals in Jackson Hole. It's a six mile straight up the mountain. Uh, has some good prize money on August 3rd, so I'm interested in that. And then a week later, uh, the Cirque Series at A Basin here in Colorado, a ski a ski resort here in Colorado. Hopefully on August 10th, all the snow is melted. But you just we just continue to get snow here in Colorado. It's absolutely insane here in late May. It's amazing. So that race is three miles up and three miles down at A Basin. Uh, and then two weeks later, the peak race of, frankly, the race I'm most excited about in 2019, the Pikes Peak Ascent. Cannot wait to toe the line again against some really, really stout competition. Literally racers from around the world come to the Pikes Peak Ascent. And then after Pikes Peak, looking at the USA Track and Field Mountain Running Championships in New Hampshire. That's right. Shout out to the East Coast. I would love to meet folks on the East Coast. So I'd probably fly into either Albany because I have family near Albany or to Boston and then drive up to Waterville Valley. It's an 11K course, so a little over a little over six miles on September 29th. And then so that is the kind of the summer trail racing lineup and moving on from the trail racing season to the fall racing season as you know trying to pull off this 219 marathon at a USATF certified course and a USATF sanctioned event so there's a lot of rules that go into uh, getting an Olympic trials qualifying time uh, therefore but okay before I get into the races I'm looking at I am very interested in flying to London in late September early October, so shout out to all the UK viewers. I might need some help finding a 10K or half marathon race in the UK in early October. Why am I interested in going to London? Yes, I wanna go watch, maybe watch history, and of course, film for all of you, Elliot Kipchoge trying and attempting to pull off a sub two hour marathon. They haven't nailed down the exact date yet. As you know, the Ineos 159 challenge is uh it's starting to pick up mo some momentum and i did just see on twitter last or no today that kipchoge is back to training so he took quite a bit of time off after london i don't know how much time but i saw a clip of him starting to do some weight training again and he's getting he's starting to build that base again leading into another sub two attempt in london so anyway um there's a good chance uh, hopefully if i can work it into the budget to get over to london for that event and i would love to race uh, a 10k or a half marathon in london and then for the the races i'm looking at in the fall um oh my gosh i just forgot one there's a half marathon in florida in october and uh, i'm not going to remember the name of it but it's it's fast it's flat and it has some ridiculous i know it's, it has some ridiculous prize money it's it's amazing so uh but i'm looking at chicago new york city and the California International Marathon as three potential marathons in the fall. Um, I'm waiting to hear back from some people on a few of these. So, but the Oct uh, Chicago Marathon is in October, New York City is in November, and then uh, CIM is in December. And I fully realize that New York City is not a fast, fast course because you have to cross all of those bridges, but um, anyway, I'm not I'm not writing it off. Uh, it is it is still in the running for a fall marathon. So that is my reset recap. Um, I'm trying to be patient and not rush coming back from this injury, so that I can make I make sure I stay healthy. As I kind of I failed. I you know there's no other way to say it. I failed to stay healthy in the last uh, training block. And you learn, you you rebuild, and you avoid. Uh, future mistakes you make mental notes and I haven't been injured like this in like 10 years so it, it's a good good reminder to really pay attention to your training pay attention to how your body is feeling make sure you're getting enough sleep eating well all of those little things cross training I tell you what this summer I can't wait to get in the pool and cross train and get on the stationary bike and cross train oh I, I can't wait it's I'm really excited I think this injury is a it's just a blessing in disguise because it reminded me about the beauty of cross training so reset is the keyword and that question of the day all right it's time for you 
to make your case for a race that I should consider for the rest of 2019. So trail races, mountain races in the summer, and then half marathons, marathons, 10 milers, 10 Ks in the fall, most likely on the roads for the fall races. So, and here's the best part. If you're looking for races, I'd recommend for you to go down into the comments and who knows, maybe there's a, and just start reading. Maybe there's a race right in your backyard that you didn't even know about because there's just so many races out there these days and there might be something in your area. I'm open to anything anywhere in the world. So make your case for your race that I should consider. That is it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for helping me reset this racing schedule. We're going to make it. We are going to make it. Da -da -da. We are going to make it. See, beauty. Work hard. Love each other. See you.